Yo guys, what's up? It is prime time, grind time, and yes, I'm doing this from my car because I'm headed to my next appointment. But I wanted to talk to you guys about this because I feel like it's a question I get all the stinking time. People always ask me about time management. Ryan, how are you able to fit that into your schedule? How are you able to do this? How are you able to do that? This is how I'm able to do it. Listen, first of all, sorry about that son. I'm trying to get away from it. First of all, you need to create things in your schedule that are non-negotiable, right? So for example, some things that are non-negotiable for me are some of the things that I do in the morning. Like I spend some time reading. I spend some time in prayer. I spend some time um, working out sometimes during the week. Those things are non-negotiable for me because those are things that are important to me and things that need to get done. However, when it comes to my business, there are also some things that are non-negotiable, right? Non-negotiable things for me and my business. Prospecting. I take two hours a day prospecting. I set that time aside. It gets put in my schedule and it doesn't get touched. It doesn't get rearranged. If for some reason it does happen to get rearranged because of like an emergency or something that happens, it gets moved later on throughout my day in my schedule. So there are certain things that you need to do and you know what those things are to put in your schedule that are non-negotiable. I'm also a big fan of having some time set aside each week, each month for you personally. If you don't, you get burnout. And I was talking with a friend um, who happens to be a real estate agent in uh, a different state and uh, we were catching up, we were chatting and she was like, man, by the end of my summer, by the end of fall, I feel like I really get burnout. And uh, I was like, well, what are you doing for personal time? You know, do you take time out for yourself? Um, sometimes, you know, and I was like, you need to take more personal time and you get on that. So that is what I mean when I think of time management. Listen, there's other things that you need to do as well. And it's all different compared to our lives, our businesses, our walks of life. Um, obviously I have three kids. And so there's times where I need to take my kids to school and pick them up and take them to certain places. Those are non-negotiable things, right? So if somebody asks me, Hey Ryan, I want to go see a house at this specific time and I tell them, hey, I'm sorry, my schedule is booked right now, I can meet at this time, it's because some of those things are non-negotiable. Nobody else can get there and get my kid to a specific event or a specific time, right? So I work around that part of the schedule. However, like I said, there's things in my business then throughout the day that are non-negotiable, right? So you need to find out what those things are and you need to set them straight, you need to stick to it, and you can't, you cannot, cannot, Take them out of your schedule for other things just to mope and grope around, right? If you don't have anything in your schedule right now, bro, I don't know how you will ever be successful. That's how important time management is with your schedule, okay? You need to take some time. I took um, probably about, I don't know, four hours maybe one day and I broke down and I wrote out what are priorities in my life that I wanna make sure that I don't miss out on. I wrote those things down, right? On a daily basis, I broke that down. What does that look like on a daily basis? What am I gonna hit um, as my goals in my personal life, in my business life, and my family life every single day, okay? Those go into my schedule. Then during the week, what are some things throughout the week? What are some things throughout the month? And then lastly, what are some things throughout the year that I wanna make sure happen? Then at the end of each quarter, you go back and you look at your schedule and you say, what did I do well on? And what did I not do so well on? Tweak it, make some changes, continue to grow. Prime time, grind time. Set that schedule, get some time management in your life. I promise you, if you do that, you will be successful. You will feel way better about yourself and you will not find yourself sitting around saying, what should I do with my time right now? Listen, I don't wanna hear excuses, especially right now, especially in my life. Right now, I'm on, in the middle of a move and I am in the middle of leaving for a conference. I am in the middle of getting things done with listing appointments. That is why I'm here in Lincoln right now um, and some buying appointments. And I still got a ton of stuff to do when I get home to pack. But priorities, my friend. Do I wanna build and establish those relationships and friendships in my business? Or do I wanna sit around moping, thinking to myself, what if or what could have been, right? Get your schedule in line with your life, 
Make it balance between life, your personal life, your family life, and your business life. And I promise you this, if you do that and you stay disciplined to it, you will hit your goals. There's no excuses. There's no way you can't do them if you're doing those things. If you have any questions about time management or you want help with that, I'm more than happy to sit down with you and share what my schedule looks like. Um, and I'm more than happy to sit down and help you build out your schedule. So if that's you and you are interested in that, message me. I'm more than happy to sit down and uh, answer those questions. So with that, prime time, grind time. Love you guys. Hope you liked it. We'll talk to you soon. See you later.